All right. So today we're going to change out the uh, dash bezel, or whatever you want to call this here piece, and this 96F150. reason we're doing that, got a couple little holes drilled out there, gas tank selectors glued in on this one, and that's glued in, and all the snaps are broken on the top. So we're going to have to move this mic somewhere else. Looks cheesy there anyway. Uh, first thing I did, just got under this piece with a little screwdriver pried it out and you're going to want to use a socket to get that out. I'll have to pause and grab that. But yeah, this don't. Just get up under the edge of it and pop it out. Nothing too crazy. Clip might fall off on you and go back behind the dash or something, but it's it should be easy to, fairly easy to get to. Next we're going to cut the headlights on. Uh, usually you can just pull the knob off like that. Go ahead and cut those back off so you don't kill your battery. All right, I'm going to grab the uh, right size socket for that and get back to you. All right, went ahead and uh, got those two bolts out. And in my case, it's pretty well loose now. So you're going to have to pull it from up here a little bit to get those to pop loose. Uh, another snap on the bottom. No, you can't see anything. But there's a couple snaps down here that you can just kind of wiggle it a little bit and get out. Uh, got the steering column tilted, my steering wheel tilted all the way down. Gonna make make sure it's in. Uh, make sure your parking brakes on. And shift it down. A little harder to do one-handed, but that pops out. Now, I can't take the selector switch out because it's glued in to this one. So, I'm just going to undo that plug. I should have a screwdriver in here to do that. Anyway, I'm going to undo that plug real quick. Okay, I did go ahead and cheat and pull these uh, vents out while you aren't watching because it's not something you can do one-handed, but they come out from the front and Go push them back in from the front. What you do to get them out? Just get a uh, screwdriver down in there and push those little tabs back. You really don't have to worry about those tabs breaking off that much. I haven't actually seen that at all. Uh, let's see. Oops. Put these pop right in there. And I've got my other fuel selector switch already in here. Uh, let's see if that, let me think if there's anything else I want to mention. Oh, we got this out. So, got that boot, but I don't really want to get down in there to figure out how to change it right now. Uh, I guess I could. Could just cut the other one, slip it over it. Eh, nah. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to. Plug that headlight, the uh, gas tank selector switch back in. Uh, if I wanted to do it right and was feeling ambitious right now, I'd probably reinforce these somehow because they have a real tendency to break off. Oh, something I did almost forget. My little tabs are all broke off in the dash from the other one. So you got to get those out first. And the screws are out. Uh, got to find one of the little trim clips that fell down in here. It goes right there. Not sure where that's at. That's fun. Where does that go up here? That goes up here. So, anyway, I gotta look for one of those. 